there's two problems here and they look really similar. Let me read the first one. Consider the discrete random variable X with the probability distribution described in this table. And it's got two, four, six, eight, ten, and then several probabilities to go with them. Find the median of X. And the second one says to consider the discrete random variable Y with the probability distribution described in this table. And it's got two, four, six, eight, ten as well. Ah, but the probabilities are different. Find the median of Y. Okay, so since the probabilities are arranged differently, um, the medians are probably going to work out to be different. Um, the median is supposed to be a number that has half the probability on one side and half the probability on the other. That's the idea of it. But usually there isn't one that has the, sa the same probability on both sides of less than and more than it. But that's okay, as long as it's less than half on both sides and the tr transition between less than half and more than half um, happens during that number. Um, okay, so what I probably need to do is figure out how much is less than and more than each of them, but I don't think I need to do all of that work because um, I can just add up how much is less than all of them and the moment I get to more than half, everything after that has more than half less than it and so it can't be the median. Um, and hopefully the last one that has less than half um, will have the most it can possibly have on the other side and so it should be the median um, as, yeah, we'll just give it a go and see what happens. One. All right, so the probability that X is less than two, that's the first number and that's zero which is definitely less than a half. The probability that X is less than four. There's one number less than four, which is two, and its probability is 0 0.3. Probability that X is less than six. There's six. There's two numbers less than six, and together they are 0 0.3 and 0 0.05, their probabilities, which is 0 0.35. And then eight, probability that X is less than eight. There's three numbers less than eight. I've already added up the first two probabilities. So the next probability we add, we add 0 0.35 so far, and now 0 0.25, which is 0 0.6. Okay, so we've already gone past half the probability less than it. So 10 will definitely have half the prob more than half the probability less than it as well. So that's not the median and 10 is not the median. Six looks like the candidate. So I should just figure out the probability that X is greater than six as well. Uh, there's six, there's two numbers more than six, uh, which are eight and 10, and their probabilities are 0 0.25 and 0 0.15, uh, which add up to 0 0.4, which is also less than a half. So the probability of being more than six is less than a half. The probability of being less than six is less than a half. And so it must be the median. There can only be one number that does both of those tricks. Um, they don't have to be the same probability as each other. It's just saying that the transition between um, less than half before and more than half before and the other way around between more than half before and less, more than half after and less than half after, it happens during six. Um, okay, so the median of X is six. Let me do number two. All right, so I'll do this running total. The probability that Y is less than two is zero. The probability that Y is less than four, uh, there's only one number less than four and its probability is 0 0.2. The probability that Y is less than six, there's two numbers less than six and their probabilities together are 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.5, exactly. So every number after this is gonna have more than 0 0.5 as its probability less than. So none of them can be the median. Six can't be the median either because uh, its probability being less than is exactly 0.5. Well, that would just leave four. So the probability that Y is greater than four uh, is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.35, uh, which is one five plus zero, which is also exactly 0 0.5. Okay, so there's no median, not one of these numbers anyway. But I guess this bit here, less than six is exactly half. This bit here, more than four, that's exactly a half as well. So if I were to pick any number between four and six, definitely half the probability is less than it and half the probability is more than it. So that would be a choice for the median. And oh, it's traditional to pick the number exactly halfway. 
So, um, is between four and six. So median of Y is exactly halfway. So the average, which is five. Okay, cool. So this running total strategy works really well. If I get um, less than, if the moment I get more than half, the one before that is the median. Um, and if I get exactly half, then it's halfway between that one and the one before it. Cool.